It's there to make a run of pork sausages, but the basic principle applies to any other type of sausage you're making. Uh, so we've got some pork fat in here. You want about 20% fat in your sausages, otherwise they're going to be too dry. And in here I've got some seasoning and some rusk and some water. And when you put the water in with the rusk, it all swells up, so you've got pretty much breadcrumbs. First things first, the first lot of meat you put through your mincer, what you need to do is catch it and chuck it in the bin because that will pick up all the bacteria that's in your mincer, even though you've cleaned it, there'll still be some bacteria in there. If you chuck that away, your sausages will last longer. into the sausage stuffing. Big lumps. Nice and easy. Try and get as much of it as you can into the machine. Squash it down. There we go. These are hog skins that we put in just warm water overnight, as in what tepid water, on the end. It's got to have an end somewhere, what it did. There we go, at the end. There we go, right. And I was always, always taught to open it up and put a little dollop of water so it cleans the inside out. So, finally. That's it, like that. So. Stuff it over. Like that. gets going it's nice and easy. Remember to, they're not straight, they're, they're natural casings so you have to turn, the, add a little bit more, turn the sort of skin around the corner if that makes any sense. Get the casings from a butcher's suppliers. Um, you can look them up in yellow pages. You can get all the seasonings all this sort of kit, they're all from butcher supplies. You can get collagen casings, which you don't have to soak, and they're synthetic skins, uh, made out of what? Obviously made out of collagen. Leave the end like that. Well, I, some people say you should tie a knot on it. What I tend to do is just leave a bit like that, turning off the end. Mm -hmm. There's two speed settings on these hand things. One's really quickly for moving it in and out, and the second one is obviously a lot easier to move, which is for piping the sausages. And you can make sausages out of almost anything. You want to use the cheaper cuts, which is a waste to use the more expensive cuts. Also, the cheaper cuts cook better you know, with the fat, and the key is this sort of 20% fat. You want to add 12.5% when you've got a, if you've got 10 kilos of meat, you want to add 12.5% rusk and 12.5% water, so 10 kilos of meat, 1.25 kilos of rusk, 1.25 kilos of water to hydrate it, and then the whole thing wants to have a seasoning, a 
seasoning mix, 3%, of which 2% is salt, 1% is spices. And if you don't want to work that out yourself, you can go to a, any sort of butcher suppliers, as I said earlier, and buy yeah, and, and, and buy the mix that's already, all the seasonings already made. Also, if you buy them already made, a lot of them tend to come with the right amount of preservatives in. It's not necessarily a bad thing to put preservatives in. What's the problem with preservatives is a little bit like salt and fat. It's when people put too much in to get, you know, to get flavour or an unnatural shelf life. When you mince a product, which obviously you do when making sausages, you um, take all the bacteria from the outside and put it to the middle. Or well, you put it all the way through the product so it's got plenty of space to grow in, yeah? Sausages, very simple, linking in threes. Take the first sausage like that, and you want to measure from there to there, twist. Okay? So you know the next one from there to there is the same. Twist. How many times do you twist? Just a couple of times. Okay, so you've got three sausages. Take the end of the third to the beginning of the second. Put a twist in it, yeah? So you've got that. Then take a loop through here. And right, want your loop to be slightly bigger than the previous one. Pinch it. Twist it. Bring the next one up and through. Sausage.